All right, we're getting into it. Here we go. Ooh, I like this, uh, you know, monochromatic color for Uranus right now. Starting off with a really strong grab, you know, third of health gone already. But, you know, Tiso's used to it. He knows what he has to do. The stage control is just so nice with this character's dashing. It's really hard. See, you throw up, but he's already bash jacked halfway across the stage, so. It's a lot of pressure coming in, but, you know, Tiso's handling himself very well for this situation. And Ooh, got out of there, but he's at such low health. Uh, goes for the desperation, misses, and gets the grab on it. And I don't know what that noise was, but, you know, both players laughing, so I guess they know what's going on. I have to ask about that later. Okay, so round two. Ooh, there's a nice jump in right there. Ooh, and gets the catches the jump with that old twister. Oh, look at... Oh, man, you, you see... The second you get that grab, it's just back in the game, you know? All that damage did means almost nothing at that point, but you just gotta keep trucking forward. And looks like you tried to set up an infinite, but didn't quite get it off. Tiso knows how to block that one. But, you know, who needs the infinite when you get the grabs? Two grabs, one more, and he's done. But he blocks it, you know? Ooh, high looks up, misses the super, gets the grab just like we saw before, and that's gonna be round two. Tiso's throwing him out. Eh, maybe not the best spacing, not the best timing. To be more crazy, just expects it. And now he ooh, switches to Chibi Moon, and I like his Chibi Moon a lot, so it's gonna be a lot of fun to see. I hope he can get off the desperation. Um, I hope maybe he can get off the infinite backdash if he's lucky. All right. So it looked like he got the infinite, but he did not. Come out with a. I don't even know what color to call that, but for uh, Chibi Moon, but I definitely very flashy and in your face. Almost just like the character with those um, really aggressive rush down moves that they have. Always jumping in, you know, always trying to attack. Yeah, when you crouch, you must you gotta like really aim your moves because it's hard to hit such a small hurtbox character. Oh, and look at this right now. You see, you counterpick sometimes, it works out for you. You're more comfortable. Maybe the match is a little worse, but if you're very comfortable right there, it's just going to work out for you in the end. Gets that grab, it's going to do a whole chunk of health again. You know, I can't stress enough how important the grabs are in this game. Ooh, just there we go, you know? I love the animation on that. You grab on, you just hit their face a bunch. It's really fun to watch. A lot of fireballs coming in, a lot of good pressure, and you know, when your stat begins that much pressure, it's hard to break through. Alright, third battle. Game two. Ooh, whiffs the infinite again, so... But he's got him in the corner and blocks them, but you know, it's just not going to do it quite the same. He goes from throwing out a fireball there. Cover your approach. Ooh, nice anti-air grab. Ooh, there we go. That's the that's the super that he has. But it, you know, whiffed and you get the grab. So, but yeah, that super is really crazy. It covers so much of the stage too. So, two more crazy is up 2-0, which is not a good position for Tiso. So let's see what he can do. See if he can turn it around. Maybe hopefully get a game. Ooh, changes again to Neptune. I have not seen his Neptune yet today, so... But he was talking about Neptune earlier. He definitely has a lot of Neptune ideas. Interesting to see him spamming the fireball, which he said was... Not spamming, but using the fireball when he said it wasn't that great earlier. Ooh, that was a nice reversal throw right there. And yeah, he's liking those uppercuts. What a great move. It looks extremely safe. You know, you throw it out, you just push back just out of their range a lot of the time. And 
you know, I think his strategy here might just be, you know, throw a bunch of different characters because it's, you know, every different matchup feels so different. So if you're comfortable using a lot of different characters, it can be really beneficial to do that, you know, keep your opponent on the edge. Because just as they're used to one gameplay, now they have to deal with another gameplay. But you're dealing with the same thing each time, just with a different set of tools. So as long as you're competent, yeah, definitely can work out in your favor. But uh, two more crazy is also very good at adapting, as we saw in game two. So it's going to take a lot. Ooh, there we go. These combos are so good. Reversal grab right there. And now it's going to be uh, two more crazies turn to have a little fun. Not for long because uh, Tisu just got out of that situation. There we go, and the uppercut will take the game three. This we have a game now, you know, no 30s for for two be more crazy right now. So like Tiso, you know, you win a game with it, you're gonna stay the character, you're gonna like it. And uh, two more crazy, you know, he's very confident in Uranus. Got him to win his finals, you know. Got him to second place last year. That uppercut's so good. Looking like just DP the character out here. So I know there's a lot of a lot of players in other fighting games who use that move a lot to their advantage, and I'm sure they're really happy to see that coming out now. And you know, maybe they just found the character for them. This looks like it's shutting down Uranus. Tiso is a force to be reckoned with, you know? Up against the wall, but not out. Great backdash for spacing on Tiso's part. But, you know, backdash can be just met with Ur Uranus' dash in and... In, out, in, out, grab. There you go. One more hit. Ooh, the whiffed uppercut. Not gonna be punished, though. A little fireball blocking. Ooh, that did a whole chunk of damage, and that makes it 2-2. Two, two. Game 5, ladies and gentlemen. It looked like it was a washout, but then he just said, maybe I'll try Uranus, and it worked out more well than any of us could have imagined here. This is the first Game 5 that we've seen today at Climb Cancel 3. And, you know, maybe Tiso said I got third last year. Maybe I can sneak into second this year. Maybe even first, you know? Maybe his Neptune can carry him all the way through. But uh, two more crazy switching back to that nice monochromatic Uranus color that he won game one with. So let's see. Maybe he's trying to win game five. Yeah, really hard. You can't really dash in if someone's doing one of those uppercuts. Nice trade for both people. Reset the neutral. Oh my gosh, Tiso's punish game looking so strong with this character. You get him in the corner, and what are you supposed to do against that? The hitbox lasts for so long and so covers so much space, so... Tiso looking... He went from Tiso for games 1 and 2, and now we got that tier and that super in his name because he's just coming back with a vengeance right here. Ooh. You know, catch him with that, and then two more crazies really on the ropes now. Oh, but he got the super, and he's gonna get he doesn't even need the grab, but he gets it anyway. And there's that beeping again. And now we have it the closest it can get, you know, game five, each person up around the winner of this round, guaranteed second place at least. A chance for the title. Tisa going in strong to start. couple fireballs, you know, keep him back, keep him guessing, trying to make him do a bad approach, but he does a great approach. Ooh, but he gets punished for it. Ooh, it's a nice anti-air, but you know, frame disadvantage, go for the DP, and he takes it! Super Tiso! Getting the upset, in my opinion, on this guy. Two people more crazy, you know, still a really respectable place, but you know. Yeah, looks like he's coming up here. Oh, they're already doing the rock, paper, scissors for grand finals. Oh, what's that? Uh, they're just, I was saying they're doing the